So there are two amazing features when it comes to gold leaf and pH. If you take a two part here, you'll see that when you add two mils to a litre, it goes slightly out of the sweet spot. It's a bit too high. Um, the sweet spot for plant growth is 5.5 to 6.5. And you can see here it's 6.7. So you need to add some pH down, which is a nasty chemical in its own right. Gold leaf, that's going straight to the sweet spot there. It's right within the 5.5 to 6.5. So it's not just that gold leaf is in is pH perfect. It has another amazing feature when it comes to pH. And that is that it can, when you pH runs away, um, it brings it back. So here you've got some pH uh, dye that will um, change color depending on the pH. When it goes up, it goes bright blue. Okay, so we've added some pH up there, some potassium hydroxide, um, and then we're gonna add some uh, standard pH, uh, sorry, two-part fertilizer. And you can see there's no change in the pH. It doesn't buffer, it doesn't bring it back to the sweet spot. It probably was never in the sweet spot to begin with. So it's still too far too high with that pH up added. Okay, compare that to gold leaf. So we've added the dye here that goes bright blue when you um, go too high in the pH out of the sweet spot. And then we add some gold leaf. And this is where it really shows how cool the gold leaf is. There we go. So that's one mil added there and we're bringing it right back down to the sweet spot. That's pretty amazing. Okay, so what things might bring that pH too high? Uh, well, um, silica, seaweed extracts um, are often, those two things, humic acids, those three products are often very uh, high in pH. Now, let's look at the alternative situation. So a dye that goes, um, change the color, what color did this one go? It goes bright red when the, it's too acidic. So again, the two part fertilizer, it's not gonna drag that pH back up, um, even though it is mildly alkaline in the first place. Um, it's just going to stay there. So um, products that might be very acidic or um, other ad ad additives, boosts, might be iron products, um, micronutrients might be very acidic. Some base nutrients are, are quite are very acidic. Um, here's the UK version of gold leaf. Um, as, uh, just using it as an example. There we go. pH down. bright red, add the gold leaf, two mils this time, and it's gone back to the sweet spot. So certain situations uh, you can get pH out of balance with gold leaf, like if you're using DWC sometimes, so it's always worth checking your pH, but in most situations when you're adding additives and the pH has gone wrong, then you will uh, be able to solve that with gold leaf. So uh, here's silica as another example, instead of pH up, it's gone bright, this time the, the, the pH is too high, so it's gone bright blue. And then gold leaf, it's gonna bring that silica down. So silicas are always very alkaline unless they're based on ethanol um, based products. So the vast majority of the uh, silicon based products in the United States will be very alkaline. And then the gold leaf can bring them back into the sweet spot. No other base nutrient can do that. So that's what makes gold leaf so unique and amazing.